Thank you for watching and coming to Asta's Place. I've been told all day of filming that I've got to say thank you for watching. So I'm doing it right now because there's a bit that I will forget. But anyway, it is nearly Christmas and if you would like to make for a child of, or it might be a wee loved one, a Christmas shopping, a Christmas stocking, oh sorry about that. I have got you covered. Look at this. Isn't this just the most fantastic stuff? It's all printed, all ready to go. All you have to do is cut it out and stitch. And it comes complete with instructions. And it's so easy. So this is what you do. You cut them all out and the great thing is that you get two for one. I love it. Now once you've cut it out and you've stitched it up it looks a little bit like this. It's a bit limp as far as I'm concerned. I like something with a little bit more guts to it. So what we are going to do with ours is you can either line it and I've got a little bit of lining for the two boots here you'll need about a meter of fabric and the great thing about this is it's not very expensive and all the hard work has been taken out of it for you. Now you can either line it or you can get this really lovely quilted fabric here that you can also use to cut it out so you'll need about a meter of that. So so once all of your pieces have been cut out, the other thing that you need is a little bit of fit of ribbon and it gives, as I said, it gives all the instructions. Now the length of ribbon that you use for hanging out will depend on how long or how short you want it to be. So you decide and you need ribbon that's maybe about an half an inch wide and I like to use a nice satin with it. So once all of that has been cut out, and I'll just get rid of this, you and you've done your cutting, so you've cut out all your pieces, which I've done down there, use that there, which is you, as your pattern, to lay that down onto your quilting and then cut a pattern or a template off that. Once you've done that, and I always like to tell people this, make sure that you pin and all of your layers are at the same length before you go any further, or the, the everything's all the same size. And that when you're padding it, make sure that you've got your right sides of your fabric together, and then make sure that the what is going to be the inside of your lining or all your padding is on the top of that. So pin all that around and then get go to your sewing machine and stitch and it gives you in the instructions it lets you know that you need what they've allowed for one centimeter of seam allowance. So just stitch all around there, right around up to there and then take the pins out and then the next thing that you need to do is to just turn this down at the top once it's done that and cut that there to make sure it is straight so just turn that over another centimeter and you might like to neaten the edges here by either using um, an overlock or a zigzag stitch turn that over like that and then you're going to stitch around that because we don't want to be wasting too much time because we're very busy I've already done that for you now the other thing that you need to do is around these curved areas here you need to get your scissors and what you need to do is you need to clip as I've done around here all around there and the reason why you do that is because when you turn it inside out let me show you what happens it just means that all of your, the, that lovely rounded bit sits nice and flat. So get into there, take your hand into there and pull it all out. And that's that bit of ribbon that I was talking about that they give you in the instructions. But look, they're really self-explanatory, easy, easy, easy to use. Now from there, you can either leave it as it is or if you wanted to do some decorating, what you could do is get your hot glue gun or you could use the Gem Bond glue which is specially formulated for gluing onto fabric. And then what you could do is you could actually further embellish your stocking by either running those all across the top. I love these wee poinsettias. They could go across the top like that or you might like to put some little magic buttons onto there. The other thing is because it's been padded, get rid of those, because it's been padded, before you joined all your seams 
hands together. What you might like to do is to actually quilt or run your sewing machine around those or hand sew those so that they actually become like appliqued or puffed out. The other thing that you could do is in the pack, where is my pack gone? In here, they also give you these little flowers. So see these little flowers here? What you could do is, and I've showed you how to do this lots and lots of times, you could put that onto some self-sticking or double-sticking um, tape and you could actually put those on top of your boot as well. But look at that, easy, easy, easy. I think personally that that padded looks much, much better than this limp thing here. But hey, it just depends on how much time you've got and how much effort you want to put into it. But that's your beginning, that's your base and you can just go on and on and on. The sky is the limit. And what's nicer than a hooting owl at Christmas? I will see you another day, because I've already said what I was supposed to say. See you.